everyone, my name is Kialia. I'm from Indonesia. Today, I want to show you about how to make chatbot with AI, ChatGPT, and other provider with App Inventor. That easy to make. Let me show you step by step with App Inventor. Let's go. Create a new folder here. Okay, for now, I just set everything to default. Or you can try its versions here such as beginner, intermediate or default if you want to know the difference. This is the first view of App Inventor. We can connect it directly with our point to scan the QR using MIT AI2 Companion. You can download it on Google Play or uh, Apple Store for iPhone. Okay, this is the first look when just create the interface. The important points that will be used here are text box, labels, and buttons. Here, use two buttons, one as the send button, another one as reset buttons. One text box as a form for filling in your questions, and two labels as a header and display chat. And to edit a nice look, I usually use this layout component to be able to customize appearance and you can create a look according to you. Here, I make it look as simple as possible and easy on the yes, okay? If it's done, you just scroll to experimental component, then select chatbox. You can read complete information about chatbots. You can read the privacies for anything, like here there is an IPK, it explains provider to system and it also explain how to use the events. We move to blocks directly here we set button one by adding converse data. For questions we choose from the text box one text component. After that we set level one to display the value text from the same chat. So the logic goes like this save or display the contents of the previous label add new chat from sender it's mean me then add the next text from textbox one which contains our message here slash n means enter then v add our name this can be filled freely as the sort as you want so it's not have to be me or your name is really freely it's this text okay okay we can directly try it here on this point ai coming in later the message will continue to be copied and displayed again here and the old message will also follow the display is still like this because here the box is not perfect let's perfect it by adding god response Adding got response from chatbot, which here level one will be filled with the response text results. You also have to add the text with the same format and only change the text box one replaced by the response text from the chatbot. Then we move to designers. Our properties there is what call it a system. This properties from chatbot, okay? Here it used to set the tone of a conversation and let's change let's change it to funny smart and silly okay and we can also choose the version of our chatbot provider there is several provider here for now we use ChatGPT, and let's sending a message here already get the response display and it's yes it's done it's done just like that simple right after that, we create a reset button here. This is used to delete the previous conversation from the system. Now, here, we just add reset conversations and change level 1 back to the initial format. Okay, to improve again, we can go straight back to the block and add if request error. So here will be given a notification if there is an error in the request process. You can change it directly like this or you can stay in the format. <clears throat> okay. 
I care here, let's try chatting with several providers. Each provider has advantages as the advantages, like the if the ChatGPT, ChatGPT, and Bedrock, it's more elegant and the language feels like a robot. But this it is normal. And if we use Gemini or Olama, the language is more like humans, but it's a, a little bit more silly. And for the Olama, uh, the response is take too long, it's very long, longer than than my patient. Patient, patient. Yes. <laughs>